Hi everyone, I'm Dash, and today I want to show you how Cortex Search makes it easy to chat with your documents. Lots of enterprise information is kept as manuals or FAQ types of documents. Now, what if instead of looking for the right file or doing Control F to find what you're looking for, you could just ask questions to documents and get answers? Well, let me show you how using Snowflake AI and ML Studio, our new no-code development workspace, you can build and test a document assistant service. Well, let's create a search service. For this demo, let's assume I'm part of the IT team and we want to build an employee assistant. This assistant will be able to help with all sorts of questions ranging from IT onboarding to travel policies. Using the database and schema in Snowflake, we're ensuring the documents we use are protected with the required role-based access controls. Let's give it a name. And because the knowledge base is made of PDFs, we'll choose the stage option. For the demo, we actually have two document directories. In the employee assistance stage, you can see we have hundreds of documents that are maintained by each of the business leads. Building the search service for a repository of this size could take longer than we have for this demo. But I still want to show you the end-to-end -end building process. So instead, let's take a look at a smaller directory that helps users with their phone setup. To finish, we need to decide how often the service could check for updates in the directory in order to always respond with most up-to-date information. Our phone setup instructions don't change often, so let's keep it at one hour. But of course, we could automate the process to be as often as every minute. That's it. Let's create the service. As it gets created, let me tell you what's happening under the hood. First, it's going through every document and pulling out the information. Then it has to do a process called chunking, which breaks apart the document into pieces to make the search process more efficient. Once the text extraction and chunking is done, the text is embedded and all the words are in vectors. The search service will have access to both the embeddings and the text. This way, it can provide the best possible response by automatically re-ranking results using both semantic and keyword search. Our embedding and search is actually using the state-of-the-art Snowflake Arctic embed model. This model has been models four times in size in popular retrieval benchmarks. Now that it's done, let's give it a try in this pre-built chat interface. Because the service is available for requests using a REST API interface, the same service that I'm trying inside Snowflake could be used from any application. The chat playground says it's using Mistral Large. Here's the context on that. The search service takes care of two big things, maintaining the document index up to date and running the hybrid search to bring back a set of top results. To make it conversational versus just showing you a list of documents, you need an LLM to generate a response that is grounded on the results that come back for the search. Because Cortex AI also has LLMs available for inference, I don't need to stitch multiple services to have a full conversational application. Remember, the service only has information about setting up a phone for Snowflake employees. Let's ask a question to get us started. How to set up Slack on my phone? The service is extremely efficient and in milliseconds will start to generate the response and also provide references to the documents that hold the factual information. This helps bring trust to the end user, but it also helps users find the right asset to validate the answer or look for additional information. How about you try to ask how to set up an application for which we don't have instructions, say Instagram. How to set up Instagram on my phone. In this case, the LLM does not hallucinate and mentions it does not have information to answer that. This is part of the magic here that is very valuable in the enterprise. The service knows when to reject user queries instead of making up an answer. Okay, so we've got this working on a small set of docs. You're probably thinking that searching on top of five documents is too easy. So let's switch to the full employee assistant service, which was created ahead of this demo. This service index thousands of pages of Snowflake IT documentation and HR policies. In addition to all types of IT setup knowledge, 
we have documents with travel expense codes and separate documents for travel policies. Let's see if the service can quickly find information about those among the other hundreds of documents. Summit is a big event with many employees in attendance. Let me ask how to book travel to Snowflake Summit. Boom, here's all the information a user needs to get started. Notice the answer picked up information from both documents to provide a complete answer. This even includes the expense code to use for travel fees. Using the citation preview screen, I can validate that our service is providing the right answer. In fact, this answer was extracted from a table of expense codes. So there you have it, up and running in minutes with a safe, truthful enterprise assistant running entirely in the Snowflake security perimeter. These types of assistants can surface insights hidden in piles of documents in seconds. All of that with no need to manage vector embeddings, keyword search tuning, orchestration, or prompting. While the use cases are endless, there's a huge opportunity for enterprises to deliver productivity gains among customer support operators or sales teams that are always digging through information to help customers. To learn more, check out the details in the description.